survive the calamity. It had to be stab weeds. Blast the things hurt like a broken heart. Bastion is an action RPG that was released seven years ago, but with its latest release on the Switch, it feels as fresh as ever. Once you open it up, you will find it hard to put down, as there's always something new to explore and addicting combat around every corner. This isn't the most difficult game to play through, but that didn't matter to me in the slightest. Bastion is an experience, through and through. The first thing you'll notice is the beautiful art style, which is seemingly hand-drawn and includes a plethora of detail. The roads you walk on unfurl beneath your toes, leaving you wondering what you're going to see next. Before you know it, you're facing a horde of enemies and you have to figure out what weapon you need to use to defeat as many as you can or find a way to run. You get two weapons that you can upgrade and swap out for whatever you desire, leaving an array of possibilities in combat style. Completionists will appreciate the wide range of weapons available to unlock, as well as a new game plus mode to start a new adventure while keeping your weapons. With all that talk about Bastion revolving around the dynamic narrator, I was kinda skeptical that it would work. Not only does it work, but it adds a whole new layer to the gameplay experience. In other action RPGs, I'll constantly be switching from matching the A button through story scenes and actually participating in combat. In Bastion, however, the narrator provides you a story while you play. How much you want to pay attention to it is up to you. My main point of skepticism around this feature was that he would be annoying or he'd repeat himself, but that's never really the case. This narrator only talks when vital to the plot, which I appreciate. It's actually quite neat how he responds to your movements, from how much you're jumping to what area you've just wandered into. Because of the way the narration ties the story together, I didn't ignore or loathe it as much as I would in other RPGs. Basically, your unnamed character wanders through a post-apocalyptic world, discovering new secrets about the calamity which was recently inflicted on it. There's nothing too memorable about the story, but I appreciate that it has its own unique place within the gameplay. Since the story is interwoven into the gameplay here, I would actually pay attention to it at times, because I was interested how it affected the gameplay. It's a perfect balance that I wish was present in other games. The Switch release plays just as smoothly as any other modern game. No frame drops are present, and it works beautifully in handheld mode. While there's no new content with this release, it feels right at home on the Switch. If you've played Bastion in the past, or if you've missed out on the previous releases, I wholeheartedly recommend Bastion for anyone looking for a fantastic action RPG.